Hello Internet, welcome back to another episode of Xenoblade Chronicles 2. In the last episode, we found out that Nia is going to be executed, and we uh, bonded a few blades to Rex, one of whom is one of my least favorite rare blades, Korra. This time, we are going to be helping Tora build his artificial blade. There are a lot of ways to do this. That's not true. There's, like, two ways to do one of the two things Treasure you need to do, quiet. and the... You know, whatever. I, I'm just gonna stop on this subject now while I can. Hana Hana. That sounds like, uh, like, place in Hawaii or something. Hana Hana, come to this city on vacation! It's very nice and lively place. Hanahana also see beautiful scene on way to here. Driver was lending hand to other driver who fell down, getting them back on feet. If comrade fell in battle, lend helping hand to help recover. Such beautiful bond of friendship. More pretty pretty than prettiest arty pictures. Okay, thank you, tutorial. Or I mean Hanahana, excuse me. Uh, but we need to head to Marcia, Margia's odds and ends, and that is over here in the Torgoth area that has all the shops. All right, here we are. It's called Margia's odds and ends, but Casa is the one here, and this is called Lily's ox cores, but Carwin is in charge. But. They both have apostrophe S's, though. Okay. Well, hello there! Tora here to my perfect range sensor and Bion connectors! Ah, you're the young Napan who was gazing longingly at those the other day. Meme, You noticed! Well, considering you were staring for three hours straight. But I'm dreadfully sorry we're all out of perfect range sensors right now. We've got plenty of Bion connectors still, though. They're 4,000 gold apiece. 12,000 for three of them, huh? That really is pretty pricey. Rex Rex promised to pay whole amount, no backsies! I mean, sure, I'm not about to go back on my word, but... Hmm. Are you one of those salvages? Yep, I may not look it, but I'm actually a professional at it. But maybe you could get a Bion connector that way. Apparently they fish the things up quite regularly around this season. No, that's not a bad idea. Let's go give it a try. Good luck, Rex Rex! I'll, um, cheer you on too. I will set that as my active quest. The real problem is the perfect range sensor. Could we not salvage that as well? Don't think I've heard of any likely spots for those lately. They're almost impossible to find except when the Titans and the Cloud Sea align in exactly the right way. And even if we did find a spot where they might show up, we'd need a lot of luck to actually bag one. We don't exactly have time to waste, so perhaps salvaging isn't the answer. Hey, can I ask you something? From the looks of it, this young lady here's a blade and you're a driver, am I right? Huh? Uh, is that what it looks like? Wait one moment, please. Rex Rex and Tora also blade, actually. Does that make me the driver? Surely the driver would have to be me. Can we try to be a little believable here? We need to sort out our stories. Hey, no need to get your knickers in a twist. I'm just a regular botanist. Botanist? Tora would never guessed. I get that a lot. Thing is, I was heading for Lasham Island for a spot of field work, but I ran into a bit of monster trouble. I tried asking the Imperial Army to help me out, but it looks like they're pretty busy right now. So I figure if you lot are decent at fighting, maybe you could take care of the issue for me. If you help me out, I might just be able to spare a perfect range sensor I've got lying around in storage. Well, that sounds perfect. Yeah, we'll see what we can do. Lasham Island isn't hard to find. You can see it to the left as you exit the city through the main entrance. Just take care of the jumping crabble you find there, and be careful, they can be vicious. I will not set this as my active quest. You can only have one active quest at a time. Doesn't mean you can't complete 
a quest you don't have set as active, but anyway. If you head over here, we can find this guy who we saw in the cutscene, get his blade, and uh, we can also beat him up, okay. Time to take which is just funny. Down. Well, his voice is awful. I don't even think this is the same guy, actually. Drivers do get unique songs when you fight them, though, so here's that. Yeah! No effect! Ha! What would you have me do? Okay, Hitting. here we no. go! Our emotions are in tune, right? Like I like your attitude! Anchor shot! Ha! Why not? Now, let's show them the full really spinning edge. That's it, that for the Oh, Damn no, it. you don't. Gah. Rex, do you need a rest? Nah, I can keep going. Stop. Go for it. Let's do this. Provenance, yeah. let's go. Yeah. Yeah. So Why not? No effect. Rex, do you need a rest? Yeah, it's getting tough. Eagle eye. Yeah. Yeah. Rush down. Why not? Double spin done. Why here? I lost that pretty badly. <laughs> yeah, I, d I don't recommend you try fighting that guy until you have more than one party member, but... I mean, it's at least fine. I gave we'll him a fair him fight the first time. Don't push yourself too now much. I'll just come back later and beat him up when I have friends. But Pyra did seem to unlock something on the affinity chart. There is still much to learn. That's true. Still have so much left to learn. Increases critical damage by 20%. That's really good, especially with the critical up 2 aux core we have on her. But, uh... Alright, let's get those uh, items we need. If you actually head to Margie's Odds and Ends and talk to... Well, not said one. If you talk to Kassa... Inherited Core Crystal for 500,000. Jeez. We do actually have enough because of the uh, because of the expansion pass, so I'm just gonna go ahead and buy these. There we go. And because it doesn't automatically make the other quest our uh, active one, we can set it in the quest menu or in the quest log. So let's go beat that monster. And, uh, yeah. Future me, feel free to speed up to getting to the monster because it's pretty far from Toragoth. <laughs>
So it sends an enemy into the air and backwards a little. Uh, blowdown generally isn't something drivers get to inflict very often. It's more of a thing for enemies. So it's it's pretty cool that Rex gets an art that can inflict it. But I'll meet you guys back at Taurus House now. Not to say Abel's Fountain, not Taurus yeah. House, but... So? Yeah. We should probably actually tell Sedwin that we defeated the monster before, like, going to Tora's house. Oh, hey, you're back. To get the jumping crabble, did you? I knew I made the right call asking you guys. Here's the perfect range sensor, as promised. Thank you so much. You've had it lying around since my grandpa's generation, so it's a bit dusty, but it should work just fine. Thanks for all your help. Everything should be fine now. All right, now I'll see you guys at Tora's house. Okay, all finished. It's really complete. Very complete. Just need to apply energy charge to activate. Tora, our friend's execution draws near. There's no time to lose. Make haste. I know, I know. Oh, okay, artificial blade. It's wakey wakey time. That won't do, Tora. What, what, what Tora do wrong? You can't keep calling her artificial blade. As her creator, the least you can do is give her a proper name. Oh, um, well, actually, friends, Tora did think of name for her. Very good name. Nice. Then I guess there's no problem. Well, why don't you introduce us, Tora? Right away. Now, wakey, wakey. Tora's very own blade. Oh, Poppy! <gasps> Poppy? Master. Oh, 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 wait a minute! Oh, forget you see that. Tora must change the settings. <clears throat> the settings? Uh, this time should be okay. Second time go best. Power on! Master Pawn? I... I did it! Taurus Masterpiece! World's first artificial blade! Poppy! Whoa! Incredible! That is really quite something. Tora did good, huh? You impressed? Tora is a very big success? Absolutely! You're amazing, Tora. Though, I was pretty surprised before, when she was all... You know. Forget about it. That's not Tora's fault. Th that was, um... Grampy Pond. Grampy Pond Susu made settings. <laughs> yes, definitely Grampy Pond's fault. Are you sure, Tora? Yes! Grampy Pond. <clears throat> yes! Meh, meh. Well, let's not dwell on that. Rex, let's go rescue Nia and Drolark. No time to lose. Anyway, my name Poppy. Poppy try hard, 
to make Master Pond proud. Oh, yeah. That shrew thinks she owns the place. Just because she curries favor with the Emperor. If only I'd got the Aegis myself, I could have returned home in triumph. Or sold her to Banna for a tiny sum. But it's not over. I refuse to let this place be the end of me. I will not be left to rot in this flea-bitten backwater. Captain Patrick! Uh, yes, sir. Double the number of guardsmen. Round up whoever you can find. We're going to find that Aegis before Morag gets her paws on her! So, as you wish, sir. Watch and learn, Morag Ladea. Before we leave, Tora want to explain something to Rex Rex and Poppy. Explain what, Master Pon? It about this advanced gaming device. I did wonder what that thing was for. So it's for playing games? Yes, game is called Tiger Tiger. It's hidden gem that Grampy Pon make for Toro when Toro was little Pon. It looks like it's seen better days. Toro turned on power just now, so should be possible to play. Rex Rex, give game a try. Mm. It does sound kind of fun, but I wouldn't want to get hooked on a game while Nia needs rescuing. Wait, wait, wait! Playing this game can earn prizes! Special parts for Power Up Poppy! Parts for Poppy? Grampy Pond make this game in hopes that it reveal true purpose when Poppy finally complete. So if friends think Poppy a bit weak or just want more amazing power, play game and get new upgrade. I guess that makes sense. I'll give it a go then. That is wise decision. Shall Tora explain basics? After all, Rex Rex is a little wet behind ears. Use directional buttons to move. Use A button to attack. So that is basics. Tora let Rex Rex figure out rest by Rex itself. Learning is best by doing, meh. Tiger Tiger, go! Tiger Tiger sucks. <laughs> I'm going easy mode because I suck at it. And stage one. Okay. So, uh, the point of Tiger Tiger is you're going to want to get all these jewels without running into enemies. You only have so much air, you lose air by running into enemies in several other ways. You lose air if you hit any of these blocks in normal mode. It's just not that fun, and I'm not a fan. Uh,. There are multiple, like, hidden rooms per level where you can just get a ton of jewels. It's... It's honestly a pretty... Like, it's nice that they put it in there because as a distraction... Yeah, this can be fun. But as an essential way of upgrading one of the main party member's blades, I'm j I can't... I can't f let myself enjoy it just because it's so, like, out of place among the rest of the blades in the game. Uh, okay, that redfish is homing. Uh, once you get the treasure chest at the very bottom, the game starts going upward. You cannot attack in this state, but you move much more quickly from side to side. Uh, okay, this may not be going well. It's up to the game at this point, because I only have one more hit. I made it. Sick. There we go. We actually got a ton more treasure chests than I usually do, too. There we go. My name is... My name is... Ash, because winter can't fit. I like how it automatically assumes I'm going to type in ass because of the first two letters. There we go. We got back attack 1, specials level 1 plus 1, AB frontal force 3, spike defense 1, and AB frontal force 1. Skills of Rex Rex, quite impressive! 
Rex not pro salvager for nothing. You think so? I think your experience as salvaging really came in useful. Not that I don't appreciate the compliments, but we should hurry and rescue Nia. So how are we going to get onto that Titan battleship where Nia's being held? As luck would have it, the Cloud Sea looks to be ebbing just now. We had best aim for the route Pyra mentioned. The route was stretchy stretching just past Garagorm's Arch. From here is easiest to go up to top of stairs, cross bridge, then pass under gate. Then you're at Garagorm's Arch. Will the Ardanian guards not spot us? Area around Ardanian base heavily guarded, but up to Garagorm's Arch should be no problem. Alright, let's head there for now. Poppy will do best to help. I swear Poppy is a really good party member, but Tora is so unbearable with her. And if you think the way he acts toward Poppy is creepy in the uh, English localization, Oh boy! In Japan... In Japan... Poppy is called... Or Poppy Alpha is called Poppy JS. Which... And, and JS is the term in Japan for kindergarten. I don't know why I said kindergarten like that, but... Jesus Christ! She's a very good party member, but this is basically the entire reason I don't like Tora, is just the way he acts about her. Like... He- he's- there's- it's tradition in the Xenoblade series for there to always be a Nopon party member, one who fights or not. Uh, because Torn of the Golden Country is the only one where there's not, like, a main character Nopon. But he just doesn't live up to the legendary Haropon. Whatever. Next time on Xenoblade Chronicles 2, we're going to be rescuing Nia. See you guys then.